So it's a big deal when one member of your family gets sick, especially if it's one of the kids. But imagine if you were the mom of 10 children like our next guest is. You'd want to get those germs under control fast. Catherine Sansone is here with some tips on surviving the cold and flu season. Catherine, I know this has got to be a big issue for you guys. Um, prevention really is the key. What do you do to prevent getting sick? So I have a lot of little tricks up my sleeve. Um, one, one, of my, one of my things I think really works is I keep windows open around, even as cold as it gets, just crack them a little bit around my house to get the fresh air in, the germs out. Um, I also think that pumping up on vitamin C is a good idea, washing your hands more often. I clean their sheets a little bit more often um, during this cold and flu season. Um, I think one of the biggest ones, though, is to de-stress. I see our kids, there's, they, they've got so much going on with exams and adults as well, with being so busy during the holiday season, and everybody burns the wick at both ends, and that's when you get sick. Um, and I think our technology, as great as it is, um, we suffer because of it, because we're in front of our screens 24 hours, and nobody really sleeps sound anymore. So I try to take my kids' phones away from their bedsides at night um, so they get more solid sleep. Um, as well as just take a break from looking at their phones. Um, so I think these are some of the symptoms. It, it's hard um, because they'll say, Mom, I need my phone to wake up in the morning. Right. And I said, do you ever heard of an alarm clock? <laughs> so um, it's a constant struggle, but um, we do our best. Eating healthy, I think staying active. Just because it's winter doesn't mean you've got to stop working out or being active. So keep the blood flowing, um, all those great things. Eat healthy. Um, things that we all have heard and we know about year after year, um, but I, I think it helps to discontain germs, like you said. Yeah, really good advice. Warning signs for cold and flu. What do we look for? Okay, so that stuffy nose, which is nasal congestion, is the worst, and it's the common symptom of both colds and allergies. And most people say it is the worst part. Allegra D has always treated my family's allergy symptoms, but now it's indicated that it will treat also the nasal congestion due to a common cold. So when you have this stuffy nose and you don't know where it came from, is it allergies, is it the common cold, you're covered both ways. You, there's relief on the way. Good. It, last, um, it starts in an hour, it lasts 24 hours, and it's non-drowsy, which is awesome. What else is in your cold so and flu survival, survival kit? kit? All right, what else do you have? Yes, I've got, okay. So the nose takes a big hit, and my kids love the softness of Puffs Plus Lotion. It soothes irritated skin, it locks in moisture, and it's dermatologist tested to be gentle on the skin. And over half of working Americans say that keeping good tissues at the office makes, it, makes them survive way easier. And the last thing, it's a very overlooked symptom, is dehydration. Because your kids aren't going to say, Mom, I'm dehydrated. You just have to be aware and know. And actually, you and your child will feel worse if you're dehydrated. So hydration's key. Pedialyte is your answer. It helps prevent mild to moderate dehydration, just enough sugar imbalance with sodium to, for fluid absorption. And it's better than any other drink you're going to have in your house. And it's number one pediatrician recommended for an oral electrolyte. And I love it because it's so simple, rehydrate at home or in the office with liquid, powder packs, or the freezer pops, which are my, my kids' favorite and great tasting too. Yeah, I can see the freezer pops would be really popular at my house too. All right, thanks so much, Catherine. Some good advice. Hope your Definitely. family stays good and healthy throughout the winter. Thanks right. so much. Stay oh. healthy. Yeah, hope you do too. For more information, you can check out Catherine's website at shapeupmom.com.